संबंध में भावानुकूल राधा कांत कैन यू यू धन यू यू अच्छा वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स So, Shri Gurudev has told us about Bhav Mayi and Bhav Sambandhi. Now, Bhav Anukul. The word Anukul it means favorable. So, Bhav Anukul means those activities in the path of bhakti which are very, very favorable. <coughs> Bhav Sambandhi means they're directly connected, sambandha, by relationship. They are the upadan karan. They're the like the material cause huh, of the very development of that bhav. When bhav anukul means that they are favorable. The activities are very favorable toward the development of that bhav. So the activities that we perform in bhakti, shravan, kirtan, smaran, padasevanam, etc. These are all extremely favorable activities like no, no, worship. No, no, no. It is quite wrong. But also, but in padasevrat, jan. No, no. They they cannot be told like bhava bhavanku. Oh, they are bhav samandhi, are bhav bhai, especially yes. bhav bhai. You should try to realize this. Picture bhav bhai. Oh, actually bhav. That is sakh bhav, dash bhav. Oh, they are bhav. And those who are transferred later on. And upadan of bhav, or they are called bhav sambandhi, and ankur like tulasi. Janmashtami vrat, ekadasi vrat, kanti vrat. For the pleasure of Krishna, they perform specifically uh, to stimulate the bhav which one wants to develop, and specifically they perform for the pleasure of Krishna. Tilaktu, tulasi, yeah. That is why we keep. Don't think that oh, oh this tila or kanti mala or oh, they are useless. Hmm? Worship of a tree, plant, oh, what is this? Or oh, you sort the of thing. You must tila. Otherwise, when the messenger of death will come and he select, he will select you. Oh, this is the bogus person I wanted. I should take to him. 
<laughs> he will bath first. He will see in this uh, what in this festival. Oh, he has come, and he told that I am coming, and I will see, bath them. Who oh, had no tila? Oh, very soon I will take them. So please be careful. <laughs> very careful. I am seeing so many devotees. Oh, they have no time to make tilak. Or what is tilak? We should do. Or don't see. Oh, it is favorable to pour water in Tulsi, to do parikrama. All these things. Janamashtami, Tam Navi, Kirtak, Kartik, Bharat, Ekatasi. All are Bhavanuku. Oh, they are helping. They, are, they will help in making the mood. Bhav. So they are Bhavan. And then, <coughs> what is bhav? Abhiruddha. Bhav, bhava, abhiruddha. Abhiruddha. What? You? You can tell. Bhav, abhiruddha. And so what is not against of bhav? The sadhak want to achieve some bhav, like dasa bhav, sakka bhav, bhatsalla madhur, especially in braj, sakka, bhatsalla madhur. So what is bhav abhiruddha? What is not opposite, like puran saban? And not supporting also to stimulate the mood. Namakshar dharan. Namakshar dharan. Nirmalya. Uh, nirmalya. Nirmalya means what is nirmalya? Like, Which is given to Krishna. And in the morning, we take it. Oh, this is nirmalya. Hmm. So nirmalya is offering to Krishna like garland, other thing. To a, as a prasad, you can accept this. This is bhav abhiruddha. And puran savan. So, as has written so many puranas. If you read that, it is not supporting, nourishing your bhav. Still, it is not unfavorable for the bhav. So, it is called bhav abhiruddha. Like, and so many devotees putting, like, gaunita stamp. This is also bhav abhiruddha. What? Stamp, putting stamp here. And Bhav Viruddha, who want to achieve this move, they must not meditate upon Rukmini, means in Dalaka Mohisis. Bhav Prakriya Bhav Viruddha. Like Guru Dev has given example so many times. They are against, against oh, of, Raganuga or Rupanuga. They are against Raganuga or Rupanuga. Guru Dev has given example they, so many if times. If you are doing, following, your bhakti will be finished. Bhav. So Gurudev has given so many times one example in Braj. One devotee was there. Uh, some of other he want to go to Darak, visit to Daraka. And he thought, oh my God, why this kind of idea is coming in my mind? He was doing Raganuga Bhajan. <coughs> so in that village, one Brahmin told, Oh Baba, I am going to Daraka. Are you want to go with me? <coughs> well, yes. Then he went to Daraka. Whenever somebody will go Daraka, they will give their one stamp. As before, they used to give uh, chakra, chakra tapta mudra, to make hot and put here, that it will be marked forever, but brand, permanent brand. But nowadays, they are giving sital chap, means not permanent brand. Gopi, 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 Chandan. Gopi Chandan. So he went Daraka and came back. When he came back, now, he could not fix his mind in Raganuga Bhajan. That no, is Ashtakaliya Leela. No, pastime is not manifest in his heart, which he was doing as before Ashtakaliya pastime. So he thought, better I can go to other sadhu who... No, no. My, my friend yes. was Raghunath. My friend. Huh. In Radha Kund. In Braj in Radha Kund. If he can help me. If he can help me, why this pastime is not manifesting in, anymore in my mind? So who is sadhu? Sadhnoti sadhayati cha krishna prema. Who is sadhan doing sadhan himself and helps to other do sadhan of krishna prem. So must I go to my friend? When he went there, he not ever not look towards me, look towards that sadhu who went daraka. He knew all these things. He knew all these things in his heart. So he thought if I help him, if I talk to him, then my samini will be angry with me. She may reject me too. Samini means Radhika. Samini Radhika. She rejected already him. She may reject to me also. So she not 
talk with him, not welcome to him. So she came back and locked his door. And by his separation of mood, he burnt his body. When villagers came, the white smoke is coming. The villagers went there and they break the door and they saw that everything turned into ashes. They could not find it. So if we meditate upon Rukmini or Saptavama, etc., Dharakadhan, then it's unfavorable for Raganuga Bhakti. So Sila Vishnachakali Thakur and our Acharya has told this is Bhav Virudha or Bhav Pratikur. So we should not meditate Dharakadhan, Hare Krishna. We should not do Nyas. Nyas Mudra. Mudra. In Krishna Bhajan, no need. No Kush Dharan. As a smart Brahmin's day, do. We should not do. If he will <coughs> have any love and affection for Dwarka, and you are meditating, oh, very high class of devotee like Rukmini, then what will be? You will have to be there. When your sadhan will be perfect, oh, you will go, not go to Gulu Vrindavan. What? Oh, one of the maid servant of Rupi. You cannot have. So we should be careful for this. Then, <coughs> Rupa Goswami has told that this bhakti, uttama bhakti, is of three kinds. Sadhan bhakti, bhav bhakti, and prema bhakti. Up to bhav there is some what? Sadhan. No sadhan of prema bhakti. He will achieve, oh, kolok vrindavan. That by service, serving, in the guidance of gopis or Madhanya Soda or Sridham Shubha, they will develop their Snake, man, prane, rag, anurag, and One thing more, that why Rupa Goswami has divided in three sections. He should divide into two, Sadhan Bhakti and Siddha Bhakti. Why this bhav bhakti, <coughs> because there is some reason that the symptoms of Siddha Bhakta is so that Siddha Bhakta, they are no unearth at all, no karma fall, nothing to to test all kinds of vigna, badha, anartha, oh, I have gone away. This is Siddha Bhakti. And Sadhana Bhakti, Kriti Sadhya, Bhavita Sadhya Bhava, so Sadhana Vita, Nitya Siddhasya Bhavasya. Sadhana means the Sadhana which brings of oh, bhav, move. So this is not uh, also sadhan, bhav bhakti, because it is the fruit of sadhan. So sadhan bhakti and bhav bhakti cannot be one. Understand what I told? Neither sadhan, neither siddha. Andhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshudun Niditam Jena Dasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. So Srila Gurudev has asked me to explain why Srila Rupa Goswami has divided in three parts. Because sadhana means those practices which are aimed at development, at achievement of bhava bhakti, at achieve, uh, developing bhav. So when bhav comes, this means that. Uh, that Samvit Shakti, essence of Samvit Shakti and essence of Hladini Shakti mixed together have come in the heart. This is called Vishuddha Sattva. As we have heard yesterday, this description of Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma. So this is the fruit of sadhana. 
So it cannot be said that on the stage of bhava bhakti that this is sadhana. No, actually this is uh, bhakti has come in the form of the sprout of prem, prem ankura. The sprout of prem now has come, has blossomed in the heart. This entire progression that we have been hearing about, adal shraddha tata sadhu sango tapa jana kriya tato nartu nivritti sya tato nishtaru chistata tata sakti stato bhava tata prem abhyaranchati sadhakanam ayam prem na pradur bhave bhavet kramaha. This is all entirely describing one thing, which is the progressive development of prem. But prem is something that cannot be contained in this body. This body cannot possibly contain the fully mature fruit of prem. So Srila Krishnanas Kaviraj Goswami has described that, at the, that the disciple who has received the seed of Bhakti Lata Bij by regularly hearing and chanting, one is watering this creeper and gradually it will grow and then it will finally pierce the covering of this world and it will take shelter at the lotus feet of Sri Krishna and Goloka Vrindavan and there it will bear the fruit of praying. But here Srila Gurudev is describing this bhava bhakti as the fruit of sadhana. So that devotee, what this verse by Srila Rupa Goswami, Kriti sadhya bhavit sadhya sa sadha, sa sadhana vidha this is describing that sadhana bhakti means to cultivate those practices which are aimed at the, that those moods of the Brajabhasis may come in my heart. And then when those moods are, have come, this is not any mundane thing. It can never be done by superimposition. One can never imagine, oh, now I'm loving Krishna like my beloved or like my son or like a friend. No, this is not by imagination, but the moods of the Brajabhasis have come. How have they come? They have come through the associates, through our Guru Varga. And by their mercy only, these moods will come in our heart by contact with the essence of Samvit Shakti, essence of Ladini Shakti, which have come in our heart by the, by the mercy of Sri Gurudev. Hare Krishna. Hare what is the definition of sadha? Utpanna rataya. Rati has been. Oh, really to come at once. So, Utpanna Ratya, but so many Nirvigna, he has not been. Some Nirvigna, Vigna are there. Like Bharat Maharaj, he has attained about to Rati or Bhav, and he left everything, but he was attached to a deer. And what became? For three there was no offense, nothing, but he was attached. And for three lives, oh, he was down from that time. And after that again. So, you should know that in Shadhaka, they are about that all big has gone. But still there is something, smell of that, Shakshat. He is also qualified to take darshan of Krishna time to time. These are what? Like Sadha. Bilva Mangal. You are very attached to that prostitute Chintamani. But she was very high class of her also. She used to sing only the Krishna songs. He was so much attached. And when she gave a post that, oh, my blood and urine this pocket, you have so much affection. Why not to Krishna? Your life will be successful. And this paste in his heart for him, he gave up everything. He was going to Vrindavan. <coughs> but once again he was taking, he went to a well, he was very thirsty and he wanted some water. And he looked that, oh, some 
very teenaged, a girl, very beautiful, handsome. She was taking water, and he she, he told, <coughs> I want to have some water. Can you give? And he she was giving, and he was looking towards. <coughs> After she returned back to his home, then he followed him, her, and went there. His husband was sitting outside of his house. He told that she went inside, and he told, Oh. Why you have come? Do you want to anything? Should we donate you prasadam or anything? No, I want to t that I meet. I want to meet your wife. Oh, very happily she. Call he called, and when she came, oh, he told that can you give your two needles? Oh, she could not understand why he is asking, and he took at once. And he get to in here. Oh, this is the root of all the evils. If they were to know, oh, then I will not be attached to this one. And then, oh, he began to cry for Krishna. Oh, Krishna, oh, Krishna. And now who wanted to go? Very uh, a strong will that I should go. Ambitious. And when Krishna saw that he wants to go in Vrindavan, oh, at once he became very merciful, and he came in a covered safe boy. <coughs> Baba, where do you want to go? <coughs> I want to go in Vrindavan. Oh, myself, I am also going to Vrindavan. Can you help me? Oh, yes, why not? You can hold my stick, and I will take it. And he was going. And what? Bilbo Mangal was repenting so much, and he began to compose new, 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 new poetry. And Krishna what? Oh, hearing from going on happy. When, after some time, couple of days, when that the wave of two, three months by feet, but after three, two, Baba, you have come to Vrindavan. <laughs> And he left and he wanted to catch him. Oh, this is none but Krishna himself. But anyone cannot catch him. Strictly he fly at him. Then Krishna uh, oh, took all the poetry of Bilva Mangal. And it is so near and dear and raw to, to Krishna Nectarian that it is called Karana Amrita. What meaning? It is the nectar of, of Krishna. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu collected it from south anywhere and he gave to all devotees to copy it and distribute every, everywhere and he told that you should always remember like your necklace. You should do. Oh, he is sadha. But what sadha? Not sadhan bhakti, like a bhava bhakti, in the middle. So, sadhak of bhakti, of raganuga is very hard, very rare. But I have come to help you. Our Guru Bhargav, all, especially Swamiji, came to this western and eastern countries everywhere. And he wanted to give this, but he could not. Why he could not? He wanted, but he saw that there is so much, oh, jungles. <coughs> How I can? First I should cut the jungles, make it plain and fertile, then I will give. But whole life he. Srila Prabhupada has also told like this, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati. He told that, oh, you should not think that this regulative what? Bhakti. Banasam dharma and other things. To distribute books, all the activities. For this I have not come. I have one, only one come forward to sprinkle the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Anarpit chara Only I have come for this. 
So you should try to realize this fact and you should come. Otherwise, if you are involved in making money, position, what they will help you? They will make you to sink in the ocean of problems and problems throughout life and life. So don't believe in money, position and social services or anything. Krishna has given you human life. Labdha sudurlabha mitam So always remember this. And try to follow all these instructions and then your life will be Go Premada. And also, he had told Apigyata, Akil Kresha, Sada Krishna Siti Kriya, Siddhasyu Pratat Prima, Shokha Swad And who are Siddha? Apigyata Akil Kresha. They don't know what is problem. No big at all. Nothing. Bhabhakta may face all these things, but he will neglect them. And he will also feel oh, some, what? Eh? Uh, Clays. They will come. And he will see and he will taste. But he will tolerate and pass away. But this Siddha Bhakta, how? Abhigya. They don't know what is. No fear, no hunger, no thirst, no fever, no disease, no old age, nothing. They are involved, but out of all. Like a lotus leaf. In water, but no effect of water on that. So Abhigya, Akhila, Kesha, Sada. Krishna Sit Kriya. And to please Krishna, favorable, that bhav may bhav sambandhi, like that, always doing. Eh? Especially in Ashtakaliya Leela, serving in the guidance of Rup Goswami and Rup Manjari. Raghunath Das Goswami and Rup Manjari. Always thinking how they used to serve him and how he did all sadhan bhajan. Then, Satata Santat Prem, Sokha, Aswa, they taste all these things. Sak, Sakha, Basalya, especially Madhu. Oh, they are Siddha. So, Rupa Goswami is what has distributed in three Sadhan Bhakti, Bhav Bhakti, and Bhakti. It is proper. I want that you should come towards this thing. Try to realize all these things. Don't waste your time. If you are in sense gratification, always very busy in oh, life maintaining, oh, you lose so much things. So for this, he came to Western country. Our Guru Bharg came. They traveled up our whole universe. So their mercy is that. So you are very fortunate to come in their line. So don't lose this time, this fortune, and at once come in this life. Don't do anything for your maintenance. It will come automatic as your calamities and distress coming. <laughs> Automatically. They will come and they will be on your head and they will, or forcibly, they will make hold and they can take every your position and everything. Everything. So don't lose your time. From beginning today, you should try to follow all the instructions. Go, Praman. Hare Krishna. So, Gurudev Marsuli gave some initiation. Now, Gurudev announced their spiritual name. And whoever takes an initiation in few days, even in LA and here, Tomorrow will be fire sacrifice, headed by Sri Padarana Maharaj. So male devotee who have not saved their hair, head have to do that for fire sacrifice. 10 a.m. tomorrow here in pavilion, Hare Krishna. And drama player must be ready in five minutes. Okay, drama player. Oh.
The devotees who have received initiation, please stand up when we announce your name. One devotee received the day before yesterday. His name is Sak Sanchez. He is here. What name? His name is Shubal Krishna Prabhu Ki. And his sister, Celsia Sanchez. What? Celsia. Chandrika. Chandrika Devi Ki. First Chandrika, second Chandrika. Charu Chandrika. Very good. Go on. <coughs> Go on. Today, please wait. From Some nectar is coming, and he will dust, uh, dust a bit among you. And if you will go away, oh, then you will lose that opportunity. Don't lose this golden chance. From Tucson, coming, Theodore John. Please stand up. Bhakta Ted. Tarun Krishna Prabhu Ki. Sasa Palesar. Sasa Palesar. What name? Sachinandan Ki Jai. Eric Lotpoch. Lotpoch. Don't laugh, don't laugh. Hindu? Hindu Raj. Hindu Raj. Hindu Raj. Why not Hindu? Hindu Raj. Hindu Bhushan Prabhu Ki Jai. Hindu Bhushan. Okay. Rick Charles Sanap. Oh, Ramapati. Ramapati Prabhu. It is male or female? I did sometimes confusion. <laughs> Amanda Singh Sanat, wife of Ramapati. Anandani Devi Ki. Kimberly Young. What? Colin the Devi Ki. Receiving Diksha, Karuna Dasi. Please Karuna stand up. Dasi Ki Jai. Send me. Receiving Harina, Anjali Tantar. Orush? Mel? Oh, Anjali Devi Ki Jai. Bindi Tantar, sister. Binodini Devi Ki Jai. Receiving Gopal Mantra, Banamali Dasi, please stand oh, up. Oh, Banamali Dasi Ki. Receiving Shiksha from Hawaii coming, Narhari Das Prabhu. Oh, Narhari Prabhu Ki. Jai. Receiving Shiksha also, wife of Narhari Prabhu, Baba Tarini Devi Das. And also receiving Shiksha Naika Devi Dasi. Naika Devi Dasi Ki Jai. 
receiving Deksha, Prem Pradeep Prabhu. Also receiving Deksha, Gaur Pran Gaur Raj. Receiving Shiksha, Raghavendu Das. Raghavendu Das Prabhu. Receiving Harinam, Giridhari Das. Giridhari Das Prabhu. Receiving Harinam, Vaisali Nithal. Vaisali. What? What? Panchali. Panchali is there. I cannot give this name to any other. Panchali is Panchali. Okay. The Chitri is there. What? What? Panchali. Oh, I will think and then. Yeah, Receiving Diksha Damodar Das. Oh, Damodar Das Prabhu ki. Oh, Vaishali Bino. Uh, uh, Bimala. Bimala Devi. Vimla Devi ki jai. Receiving Diksha. Taruni Devi Das. Taruni Devi Devi Dasi ki. Receiving Harina and Deksha, Borges uh, Miguel Ansa. Harigo. Madhumangal Prabhu ki. Receiving Harina. Robert Mark. Some. Huh? Ramanath. Oh, Ramanath Prabhu ki. Receiving Shiksha, Sugata Das Prabhu. What name? Sugata. Sugata. Oh, Sugata Prabhu ki. Receiving Diksha. Man Mohini Devi Dasi. Man Mohini Dasi ki jai. Receiving Diksha Omkar Das. Omkar Das Prabhu ki jai. Receiving, receiving Diksha Gaur Premanandi Devi Dasi. Oh, Gaur Premanandi ho. Gaur Premanandi Dasi ki jai. Janavi Devi Dasi receiving oh, Diksha. Janavi. Oh, Janavi. Oh, where? Playing? Ah, she should play. <laughs> and then? Receiving Shiksha Kula Sekar Das Prabhu. Kula Sekar Das Prabhu. Receiving Harinam Ajit Dasi Harrison. What? Harimoni Devi Ki Jai. Receiving Harinam Krishna Tosan Harrison. What? Stok Krishna Prabhu Ki Jai. And on the request of one of our devotees who has received Initiation some years ago. His former name was Upanishad Das. He is here. Oh. His name is Udava. Udha Prabhu ki. How many devotees? Hundred? <laughs> Not hundred. How much? Oh, I wanted hundred, but you <laughs> <laughs> try, 
try to bring more of 50, then it will be 100. <laughs> Oh. Try to bring all in the shade of Krishna consciousness. Their life should be <coughs> successful. They should be happy. So please help and try to bring one man, one man devotee. If he has 600, that 600 should come. down in that corner please big yellow cord in the corner Wednesday night uh, we have a festival in San Francisco Memorial Day weekend weekend Friday Saturday and Sunday and Monday in the morning so you're all invited to come check in at the facility is going to be on Thursday at 3 o'clock so no one can come before Thursday at 3 o'clock but if you want more information at the book table there's flyers with directions how to get there, all the information. Subal Saka Prabhu here will take all the registration. Thank you. Thanks. Also, we've run out of many books, and new books are being printed. We'll be here today and tomorrow, but for any of you that are leaving tonight, we have a book table set up in the evening here, right outside of the pavilion. After the program, we'll bring it inside. You can get an opportunity to pick up some of the books. Uh, to take home with you. There's a limited quantity, so please don't wait. Many devotees have come and they've missed that. San Francisco Festival, because the rooms are going really fast and uh, and staying outside in the motel is very expensive. So I encourage you, if you're coming, talk to me after the festival or tomorrow and complete the registration so we can confirm the room for you. Thank you, Shalom. Dasi, are you here? Got your people around? All Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, we humbly present the drama play of the lifting of Govardhan Hill. Please excuse any mistakes. Thank you. Hare Krishna. One day, Nanda Maharaj and the other senior men of Vrindavan made preparations to worship the demigod Indra. They collected many articles and made elaborate arrangements for a joyous festival. Noticing all these activities, Sri Krishna, the abode of all sweetness, approached his father and addressed him as follows. I see that you are preparing for a big ceremony. Can you tell me what 
Can you please tell me the purpose of it? I know I'm just a young boy, and you may think that I'm unqualified to understand these things. But I am your son, and you should not keep any secrets from your family members. My dear father, my dear father, what is the purpose of the sacrifice? Please explain it to me. Is it a big injunction or a popular ceremony? My dear boy, this function is traditional. We have to worship Indra. I'm the sending rain. Rain is falling on the earth. We cannot live without the rain for farming and producing grain. Father, it is the force of karma which causes the birth, maintenance, and then destruction of all living entities. It is a person's actions which causes his destiny. It's not the demigods. My dear father, my dear father, let us not worship Indra. We have our duties to perform. Rain is falling from the clouds above, and not by worshiping him. Rain is falling on the ocean and on the land as well. Besides, we have a relationship with the Brahmin man and golden on We are satisfied living in this forest of Vrindavan. So now, let us take the grains and ghee collected for this jagya to satisfy our Govardhan and never mind Lord Indra. All right, dear boy. Because you are asking, I shall prepare a separate sacrifice for Govardhan Hill and the Brahmanas. But for now, let me prepare this sacrifice for Lord Indra. Father, this sacrifice to Lord Indra, it means absolutely nothing to us. Neither in the past or in the present, was there any certainty of us having a good grace harvest? So now we should take all this paraphernalia and we should use it in the service of Sri Giriraj Govardhan. Let's forget about our Jagat and Lord Indra. <clears throat> I accept. But tell me, how should we prepare for this sacrifice? Dear friends, prepare rice, dal, halava, puri, pakora, sand, and musnula. Then call the Brahmanas, grains for the Brahmin men, chanting the Vedic hymns, decorate the cows, feed them well, keeping them in front will circumambulate the hill. Govardhan Puja, Govardhan Puja, lots of prasadam for dogs and chandalas. Govardhan Puja, Govardhan Puja, if you neglect this Govardhan worship, you will be killed by the snakes on the hill. All the people of Vrindavan, for your good fortune and the fortune of your cows as well, worship Govardhan Hill. <laughs> in the worship of Sri Giriraj Govardhan. They arranged for the learned Brahmins to recite the Vedic mantras, and using the paraphernalia that had been intended for the Indra Puj, they presented offerings to Sri Govardhan and the Brahmins. Then, placing the cows in front of them, they began to circumambulate Govardhan Hill. Govardhan ko jao meri veer nai maane mere manwa
then assumed a huge, unprecedented form in order to instill faith in the Gujaratis. <laughs> Within minutes, he ate all of the preparations that had been offered to him. Sri Giriraj Govardhan had finished everything in the twinkle of an eye. Basis, just see, by worshipping Sri Giriraj Govardhan, he has appeared before us and he is showering us with his blessings. We should all now pay res our respectful pranams unto this great personality. Sri Giriraj, we are but simple cowherders. We have offered you all that we have. Please accept this and be satisfied. <laughs> Adiyor! Adiyor! Anore, bring me more! Please accept these fresh tulsi leaves, for we have nothing more to offer. <laughs> now I am completely satisfied. After being worshipped, after being worshipped by the Brajbasis and eating all the preparations, Shri Krishna, in the form of Shri Giriraj Govardhan, miraculously returned all the food that he had eaten, exactly as it was given to him. But now it was Maha Prashad. The Brajvasis, having thus been inspired by serving Shri Giriraj, returned with Krishna to their village of Braj. Meanwhile, in the heavenly planets, Lord Indra had developed a headache due to being ignored and forgotten by the Prajvasis. Um, what news have you brought? Um, uh, speak up! I can't hear you. Um, well... What is it? My lord, the Virgin Bosses have canceled your sacrifice. We have done what? <laughs> what nonsense are you speaking? My lord, my lord, it seems that the son of Nanda have, has convinced the Virgin Bosses to worship Gilbert on Hill instead of you. <laughs> this is truly amazing. The intelligence of these cowherd men is the same as the animals they tend. They gave up my worship after hearing a few words from a mere child. Goddesses of learning sing my glories. And they did not even give my sacrifice a second thought. Have they become so overwhelmed by false pride? Oh, foolish residents of Vrindavan. You claim this boy, this over-talkative child, to be the greatest happiness in your life. He may fulfill all your desires, but we will soon see if he is truly your ever-well-wisher. Samvartika clouds! Samvartika clouds! <laughs> Samvartika clouds, go and destroy Vrindavan. They have stopped the sacrifice which was meant for me. Samvartika clouds, inundate their homes. They have taken Krishna so seriously. Proper punishment. Pour down the rain now, all you clouds. They should be destroyed along with their cows. The Sunbar Tata and other servants.
Sons of Indra proudly step forward to accomplish their mission. First, a vast bank of clouds appearing like a huge demon in the sky blocked out the sun and covered Vrindavan in total darkness. And the rain began. The water moved so fast that they formed a continuous stream speeding through the universe like a raging river. The cows sheltered their calves under their own bodies in fear of the violent rain. The cowherd men of Vrindavan thought that the devastation of the universe had suddenly arrived. Terrified and weak, they approached Krishna, who brings happiness to everyone. Oh Krishna, you always save us and bring us happiness. But we are in great danger now. Since you are the Lord of the cold, you must protect us. The clouds are roaring ferociously as they release torrents of rain. The floods of water increasing as the ocean of devastation. Just seeing the cows, they are using their own bodies to protect their calves from the piercing hailstones. And with their tears of the eyes, they are saying, Oh Krishna, just as you once saved us from the forest fire, please save us from this terrible rainfall. This demigod, who thinks himself supreme, demigod, who thinks himself supreme, he has shown his great power. But now, I will answer him according to my position. Indra has become maddened with false prestige, but I will crush his pride. I, I cannot bear to see my devotees in this position. And I will certainly save those devotees of mine who are completely under my protection. fall from my hand? You yourselves have seen how he appeared before us with such a beautiful form. <coughs> Therefore, is it hard to believe that he can stay suspended in midair? Look how light he has become, that even a small child like me can hold him in midair. Now, you should all collect all your belongings and quickly come under the shelter of Sri Giriraj Govardhan. Hearing the reassuring words of Sri Krishna, the Brajvasis immediately felt pacified. Taking their families and cows, they entered beneath Sri Giriraj. Although situated in different directions, all the Brajvasis gazed to their heart's content at the beautiful lotus face of Sri Krishna. And each person saw that Krishna was looking directly at them according to their individual relationship. <laughs> Mother just showed us out of the highest Mother Jashoda, out of the highest parental affection, began to chastise Krishna. Oh my dear son, you're always acting disobediently due to your uncontrolled senses. For years we performed the sacrifice to Lord Indra. 
But now, because you have stopped it, we're in a great predicament. How can your soft, butter-like hand hold up this huge mountain? Hey, get it odds. Please, show me some compassion. Please become light so that you do not cause any discomfort to my son, Krishna. Oh, Maya, why do you worry for nothing? Sri Giraj is floating in mid-air by his own accord. And as I told you before, this body of mine is merely his instrument. That may be true, but you must be feeling uncomfortable standing there for so long. I will believe what you say.